how to convert Canva website to Squarespace. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how simple and easy it is to use a Canva website that you have created with the simple design or the uh, web designer or editor on to your Canva to your Squarespace uh, website. So it is going to be uh, technically possible, but in a limited way. How is that possible? Basically, we're going to head over Canva and uh, we're going to select a website that we have created. So we're going to type in from here the websites. So we are going to type in website just like that. And then normally we are going to find all of the websites that we have created. I have already a account or an account within Canva. So I can go ahead and head over my projects and select the website that I have. So if you're going to be new to Canva, you can go ahead and create a website just simply by setting up some few clicks. Now, after you have chosen, let's say here the template, or you have got an idea on how we can create a websites by there. So we can go ahead and have here the correct format for the websites. You're going to have a website just for example, like this. So I'm not going to consider that a full website, but it is going to be uh, having the thing. So basically, this is the whole website. As you can see, everything is going to be a design. It is going to contain some GIF format images, uh, items, as you can see here, buttons, and also some integration like uh, these type of links and etc. What can we do from here? Uh, I'm going to head over a squarespace.com signing for an account, and then we are going to create a website. That website that we are going to create is normally going to be empty. So we are going to click on create website. And from here, I'm going to click on just uh, getting uh, started. And from here, we're going to see if we are going to get the option of creating a empty website. I do not think that they are going to allow that because they are going to propose for you the, um, let's say, um, there are templates and also there are designs, but it is okay. So doesn't matter a lot. So it is not going to be a deal breaker aside from uh, removing the things in here. So I'm going to uh, have my website to be edited. I'm going to let you see here. I have uh, participated here uh, the process or I participated the process, but it is okay. Now I'm going to click on the website. Now, as you can see, we have some blocks and images. We can go ahead and delete all of these because we're not going to need them anymore. So these sections are going to be something that we're going to remove. So I can go ahead and have a complete website and then I can go ahead and remove it. I think that this is going to be the uh, footer. I do not need it. I'm going to have only this section. So I can go ahead and have the edit, uh, the header the footer and also we can have this section so i can start by having for example the color from here of the specific header i can go ahead and click on here so we are going to have the links and we can edit the design so we can choose uh, the adaptive color gradient or solid color so i'm going to let it as adaptive so for design you can go ahead and have the design now aside from that I'm going to add a new block. So either you are going to add your website as a code, as an embedded code, just like that. So I'm going to let you see here the thing that we can publish. Click on share on Canva. We're going to head over Canva. Click on embed. And we're going to get an HTML embed code. Copy it. Head over here. Click on edit the code. Paste it right here. And you're going to find that it is going to be a, not the complete website, but it is going to be a form of presentation. So as you can see, the pages are going to be here. So this is not basically our, um, let's say, uh, the purpose from today's video. I'm going to let you see here a better option. So we can go ahead and have here, instead of having the codes, we can go ahead and have the images. So. I can go ahead and have here the image downloaded. For example, I can go ahead and have the share download and I'm going to have only with one page download. 
So I'm going to download it as a PNG. Uh, and I can go ahead and have here, um, how can I say it? But basically the links that we are going to put in here are not going to be working. So what we're going to do is to have these links, as you can see, removed. We do not need them basically. Why? Because they are not going to be clickable anyway. So we are going to uh, have uh, things from here deleted and this is unfortunate, but it is okay. I'm going to download here. So we are going basically to have uh, the links or not the links, but the images, as you can see, it has the, it had downloaded everything. So I do not need everything. So I'm going to deselect from here. I'm going to only have one image per page. I am going to head over here, add a block select image make it like this we're going to make it a whole page and we're going to upload a file basically we're going to find our file so i'm going to have it right there real quick so i'm going to have the file like this as you can see the quality is not that pretty much like the canva but it is going to be something like this it is okay uh, anyway so we are going to have a section so we can go ahead and edit the section have the background as you can see as for example like that i can go ahead and have for example this one i can go ahead and have the whole background it has uh, given me a new idea so what i'm going to do i'm going to edit the section click on background have the image so we are going to have the image from here I'm going to upload it and it is going to be a background image. So you're going to see that it is going to be something uh, big. So we are going to have our image just like that. You're going to have it as large as possible. So not that larger uh, until we are going to find everything written in here is going to be okay. So this is the first part. Now we are going to add a new section, a blank section, preferably. We're going to head over here and we are going to download the second one. So basically I'm going to uh, uh, delete all of the images that has a link on them. We are going to do this one also. Deselect all, click on page two, done, download, boom. So wait for it. Now we are going to wait here, click edit section. This is the best method that I have came from from here. So I'm going to edit the second section, have the image from here, click boom. Now we are going to wait for a few seconds until it is going to be uh, done. Now I'm going to make this a little bit larger. So we are going to have the writings right like that. So it is going to be a question of time. So basically you're going to, all, all you need to do is to do the same thing by having the images downloaded like this. For example, uh, I'm going to select also the third page. I'm not going to do the whole thing, but it, because it is going to be up to you, but I'm going to do only my thing. So we're going to have uh, three pages and it is going to be very sufficient. Click edit section, background, have the downloads. Here we go. This is uh, the third page. Now I'm going to make it larger and boom. Now what can we do more than that is going to have some blocks added, like maybe some texts. You can go ahead and have no text into their background, uh, the background images, and you can add manually the text. Now, for the links, if you have remembered that we have deleted from here, and normally it is going to be uh, having the links like that, we can go ahead and have the links into this page, as you can see for the header. So I'm going to save everything. We're going to click on pages. And from here, you can add your links, uh, as you can see like that. So as you can see, or as you can remember, 
this is going to be something very similar to it. So I'm going to have this one as a dot or something. I can go ahead and have here an image or a logo instead of it. We cannot basically have it as a uh, specific, uh, let's say here, uh, object, but it is okay. So basically, do not forget to set up everything. Uh, this is going to be something that we need to uh, claim here. So for navigation, you can go ahead and have it to the middle like we did before, I have a background in here. Uh, for the website itself, uh, as you can see, it is not going to be that perfect, but it is going to be better than having the image and the background is not going to be well. So we can go ahead and have the shadowy effect if you're going to have the color or modify your color to the same, uh, let's say, color. So you can go ahead and have a custom color and detect from the online, uh, let's say, HTML codes or hex codes uh, from there to here to the color of the uh, design that you have on Canva and do the same thing. But it is going to be up to you. So do not have the uh, embed or the embed design because it is not going to be working. It is going to show the website as a presentation and you do not want that. Basically, we are going to have here a, a normally a fully function, a functional website, but you can go ahead and add, for example, the footer from here. And this is something that we haven't added. So you can go ahead and have a blank section and edit the footer and add the color or the background. So I can go ahead and have, for example, I don't know, here the footer. I can go ahead and have maybe the, uh, let's see here, the heading, the background. You can go ahead and search for the background. It's going to take a little bit of time, but it is going to be okay. So that was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and I hope to see you soon on the next one.